everyone so welcome back to my channel so today I'm actually going to give you guys a tutorial on how you can extract high quality photos from the Sims 4 and you also get a little pose out of it as well and um, before I get started I do want to say that if you guys end up doing this tutorial I would love to see your creations so if you want to send them to me on Twitter you can definitely do that I will put my Twitter on the screen now and yeah so we're going to make something like this today as you can see I just took this sim from the Sims 4 and um, I do have to say that this tutorial is inspired by the the Sims community um, a while ago they tweeted and they said do you guys want me to show you how I did this and I was like heck yeah I want to see that and um, I'm basically going to be following along with their tutorial um, by doing this and um, yeah I'm just putting it in video form so just like I said I really want to thank them for this because without them I really wouldn't be able to do this and um, like I was saying before these images are very high quality um, their backgrounds are transparent so you don't have to go through the extra mile of like going to Photoshop or going through I don't know whatever website people use um, I use I used to use Photoshop but now I just use this because it's so much easier so much more convenience um, so yeah I'm just gonna show you how I make something like this and I make you I'm gonna show you guys a few more photos that I um, made with this method so here's a few more photos as you can see here um, they are posing a little bit um, we obviously don't have pose player yet which is very unfortunate I want to you know make note of this one this is granny she's super cute um, as you can as you'll see very soon children and also the elderly they have way more poses than young adults and um, adults so um, you can get way more poses out of elderly and children yeah so now what I'm going to do is actually show you how you can do this um, so obviously you're going to need the sims 4 i'm just going to assume that you have the sims 4 for this tutorial and the next thing that you're going to need is the sims 4 package editor and where you get the sims 4 package editor is from this website which i will link below um, it's very important for this process so make sure you have it if you're watching this like way in the future um, there's probably going to be a better version out so just make sure you download the latest version for me it's going to be version 0.3a um, so yeah just go here and um, download this 7 zip file and um, if you download custom content for your Sims 4 or your Sims 3 games, you probably already have a software that can open this type of file. But if you don't, I will link a website and it's, I mean, I will link you to a website called um, WinRAR and you can go ahead and download WinRAR from there. Just make sure you download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version depending on what computer you have. Yeah, just go ahead and download WinRAR and um, you will be able to open up the 7-zip file. And after you have downloaded WinRAR, um, I don't believe you have to install yeah you do have to down and install um, when raw for this to work and after you do that just um, click on this which is s4pe 0.3a or whatever version you're downloading and that's going to go to your downloads folder and just take that file and put it right here on your desktop you don't need to extract anything if you extract it it's going to be a whole big mess which we don't need um, so yeah just make sure that's on your desktop it does like I said you do not have to extract anything just move the complete WinRAR file onto the desktop so now what you can do is go ahead and open up the sims 4 and what you're going to do is create a new household and make sure that this sim that you are um, doing using this tutorial for already is saved into your library because we're not going to be saving this sim well actually we are going to be saving the sim but just make sure you have a backup of this sim so I already made a sim here um, and so now what you want to do after you have everything set her everyday wear is set you don't really need to change anything yet you're done basically now what you want to do is just come here where it says save household and as you can see here she's doing a little pose you can go ahead and randomize this portrait if you want to but whatever you whatever picture you save this sim with is what is going to show up inside of the file that I'm going to show you in a moment so just pick whatever one you want and keep randomizing it until you find one that you like so just go ahead after you have done that and press save household to my library and then what you're going to do is press save new new you can also change the name up here which I probably should have done but I didn't um, so yeah I recommend changing the name so that there isn't any confusion inside of your game and after you've done that you're basically pretty much finished with the Sims 4 so you can go ahead and close that up you will need to close this up for it to work um, because we're going to be moving files out of the electronic arts folders so 
you can't really move any files your computer won't allow you to move files um, from a game while it's running so yeah so now what you want to do is just go to your documents folder and we're going to click on documents and then we're going to click on electronic arts and then the sims 4 and then we're going to click on local thumb cache and this file is very crucial to your game I won't get into like how important it is um, but you do need to make sure you keep this file safe as you can see here this file is over 80 megabytes um, yeah this file is over 80 megabytes so it's very important for your game like right click and copy this file don't cut don't move it just right click and copy keep that make sure you keep this file in here for whatever you do just trust me on this don't remove this file so now what you're going to do since you have a copy of the local thumb cache file on your desktop what we're going to do now is rename this and we're going to rename it whatever you want you can name it Bob the Builder you can made it name it Dora the Explorer Explorer. I really don't care what you name it just as long as you name it something different than local thumb cache and now since you have that file on your desktop and it's safe it's not you renamed it and everything now what you can do is double click on this WinRAR file named s4pe and what we're going to do is go here to where it says s4pe exe we're going to open up this executable file which is an application and um, it's going to extract don't worry about that it's perfectly fine Okay, so now what you want to do is go to file and then you want to click on where it says open and now we're going to open that package file that you just put on your desktop and for me I named it Simi. If yours is named local thumb cache, you probably didn't follow directions. But yeah, just make sure you don't name it local thumb cache and we're going to open it up and it's like I said, it's named Simi and um, you don't really have to save anything. Now what we're going to do is click where it says file size and we're going to sort it by file size and as you can see here the smallest files are on the top now so what we're going to do is scroll to the bottom yours might be at the top so just play with that and as you can see here I have like six sim eight sims in a household and those are usually the largest files so those will be at the bottom so what we're going to do is just scroll and wait until we find the sim that we need um, well, there it is hey that was very convenient that really worked out but I don't want that photo so you can just keep scrolling just just because you see your sim once it may not be in the pose that you chose so just make sure you keep going until you find it and like I said click on file size to make your job a lot easier because the files that are um, on the extreme end will be files that are very small and the other end will be files that are very large so as you can see here I'm way on the bottom so yeah just when you find that file I just lost it I'm very smart let me go back down and find it um, so yeah once you find the picture that you just saved what we're going to do now is go to the Sims 4 community websites and we're going to copy and paste a code from their website which I will also put in the description and this code starts with 0x3c so just make sure you copy that whole code onto your notepad or whatever and now what we're going to do since this says thumb thumb files are usually the ones that are the highest quality and um, I definitely recommend that you use the ones that say thumb instead of something like this which says unknown I don't know why it says unknown I really don't but we don't really need to know that for this tutorial so what you're going to do is just click on where it says thumb and then you're going to click details and after you do that just make sure you paste this code into your into this box called type and then we're going to just press ok and now this file actually has to um, refresh so we're going to have it refresh right now by just clicking on another file it doesn't really matter and then now you can click down back to it um, and what we're going to do now um, we have two new options here so what we're going to do is click export to image and what this is going to do is give you the image that we wanted before and I'm just going to name this whatever I want because it's now saving as an image file make sure you keep this handy because this is the file that you're going to be playing with and I'm just going to name it Simi 2 because I can't really think of a better name than that so yeah so after you have have that saved you can go ahead and close down the Sims 4 package editor you can save this if you want to if you don't save it you'll the worst case scenario you'll just have to put that code in that I showed you again so not really a big deal but I'm gonna go ahead and save it anyway and now we're done with the Sims 4 package editor and now I'm just gonna give you a little short tutorial on how I make my thumbnails which is very simple I just extracted this um, I mean not extract 
extracted. I downloaded this image online and I put these little things around it using Photoshop and I also used this plum bob um, to make this thumbnail as well. It's my signature plum bob as you can say because I just love this color and the background that you're seeing is a, a took this screenshot in game and I just put this lens flare right here using Photoshop but you really don't have to use Photoshop for this. You can use whatever image you want and now since we're on pickmonkey.com what you want to do now is go to this butterfly and then you want to click on your own and we're going to take that photo that we just took from the sims 4 package editor and the sims 4 and we're going to put that into our thumbnail so i've already saved it so i'm just going to look for wherever i saved it and it seems like it's right here so now we have the high quality image that we just extracted from the sims 4 very 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 simple you just place it like so and now you have a little thumbnail which is super cute and now all you have to do is press save and you got a thumbnail it's very simple it's so simple so yeah we're basically done with this now and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um i hope that it was easy for you if you have any extra questions make sure you put them down in the description below i mean down in the comment section and i will be sure to answer them and just like i said every link that you will need will be down in the description so just make sure you do that and also if you want to tweet me your creations make sure you do that you can tweet me at semilexis because i am looking forward to see what you guys create with this tutorial and last but not least thank you to the sims community and i will see you guys in the next video